the topic is four bit full adder, right? Uh, if you observe here, we are we are taking a four full adders. Generally, the full adder consists three inputs, nothing but this three, and it has two outputs, sum and carry, right? Here, if you observe for the second full adder, what is the output coming from the carry that acting as input for the second full adder, right? When it comes to third full adder, second full adder input acting as an input. Okay. When it comes to fourth, third full adder output, uh, carry output acting as an input. Okay. So for this circuit, we will develop a very uh, lock code. Okay. Before that, I am just opening my tool. First, we have to develop a full adder code, right? So, what I am doing here, first I am developing the full adder code, okay? Module is a keyword. Here I am declaring the uh, person name, full adder. For my full adder, how many inputs are there? We, we already discussed in previous classes. It has a three inputs, A, B, C. When it comes to output, it has a two outputs. One is sum, another one is carry, right? Output, sum, carry, okay? Now, here we are using assign keyword, assign into sum. How we achieve the sum by doing the XOR operation, right, for ABC. When it comes to carry, now we are assigning to the carry. First, we have to do A and B and operation for A and B. Later, what we have to do is, uh, we have to uh, okay. We have to do C and A cap D. This is the equation for or uh, to calculate the carry. Okay. Uh, if you have any doubts in this equation, uh, just go through previous classes. Okay. Here I am just giving. Full dot B. Okay, I need to save in somewhere else. Okay, now it's saved. Now we will check. Uh, now we will compile this code whether it has any errors or not. Okay, one, four, three. Before that, we will change the directory to B. Okay. See if you observe here. We have a zero errors. Now we will develop four bit full adder for that. I am taking one more file and I am using a module keyword. After that, I am giving it a full adder four bits. Okay. If you see in this diagram, it has a these all are compass input side. Here A has four. And B is also has four. When it comes to C, it has only one, right? Now, according to that, you will develop design. Okay, input three down to zero. A. Here I am just using the error. Okay, three down to zero. B. And when it comes to one more input, that is C. The size is also one. So I am not declaring any size. It by default we take it as a one. Okay. Output carry is only one, and one more output is also there. That is sum. You see in this diagram, we have only one output. That is carry. Uh, when it comes to sum, it has a four, right? So I am declaring with a array. 3 down to 0, sum, okay? And if you observe in this diagram, it has also has three internal registers, right? So, we already declared this as a C, right? Oh, let's consider it as a C, okay? Now, we, are, we also has three internal registers, so it's 2 down to 0, C, okay? Now, we will write a code. 
first I am taking this module name and paste it over here. Here I am giving a name as F1. Now I am just instantiating dot B goes to B and C goes to C in and sum goes to sum of zero. Here in the first full error, if you see a zero, right? So I'm giving that. Okay. Now, when it comes to carry, when it comes to carry, if you observe here, it is going to the first internal register, right? So here I'm declaring C of zero. Okay. This is our internal register, right? It has three sides, so first side I'm giving here. Now, again, full adder. Now I'm giving F2 also. Now, A goes to A of 1. Okay, here also it's going to A of 0, right? Wait, I will show you. And B is also goes to uh, B of 0, right? See, here the imports are A of 0 and B of 0. When it comes to C, C in the import. So for that reason, we declare like this here. When it comes to second full adder, B1 and A1 and internal register, okay? So, here I am taking dot B goes to B of 1 and what is the carry here? If you observe here, for the second full adder carry is first full adder output, right? First full adder carry. First full adder carry output is C0, right? So we are declaring that one here. Okay. Now, sum goes to sum of 1. Okay. And carry will be now second internal register, okay? C of 1, okay? Now, same concept for third one also. So, for that reason, I'm just copy pasting, okay? So, here I'm, I'm taking the name as F3. Here we are passing A2 input. Here we are passing B2 input. Here we are passing internal resistance of second full adder carry output, right? Our second full adder carry output is C1, right? So we have to pass here as input. And our sum output will be S2. And now it goes to another internal resistance. It's nothing but C2, okay? For fourth also same process. Four, here. It's going to A3 input. Here it's going to B3 input. Here the carry output is going here, right? So C2. For some, we are getting S3. When it comes to here, our final output pin is carry, right? So I am directly declaring that one here, okay? Now our code is completed and more here. Our design is completed. Okay. Now we will see how it's working. Okay. Ladder for the dot B. Okay. Now we will compile that file. For that, we have to give a command VLOG and file name. What is file name? We saved ladder underscore for bit dot V, right? We are giving that name. If you see here, we are placing one error on the fourth line. Okay, here we have to give a comma, not that, not that one, semicolon. That is our mistake. Again, we are compiled. Still, we are having here four more errors. Uh, we have to check that one, okay. Near line, ninth line, it's saying. Yeah, here we missed one thing. We have to give it reach, okay? 
Here also we have a good output. This we can keep it as a y, okay? Because we are not storing the value, right? Okay, here we need to unlock. Let's see. Dot view, dot view, dot c, dot sum, and dot query. Here we declared one extra bracket and we have to put one more extra bracket here. Okay, we missed one bracket. Okay, now I got it. Still two errors with the date on 10th line and 11th line. Temple line also, we missed one bracket. Uh, let's see, this bracket will close with this. Okay. Here also, we missed one bracket. That is our mistake. So, uh, we have to reset it. Still, it's showing the error. Let's check carefully. Here, the off one and the off one. Why why we have to declare this one? We have to declare this one. Well, okay, now it will work. Now if you see here, our errors were clear. Okay. Uh, now we will write a test event for it. Uh, for writing the test event, we have to create one more file module. Ladder test events. Okay. When it comes to test events, you have to take inputs as a rich data type. Our inputs is uh, 3 down to 0 size V, and one more input is also there 3 down to 0 B, and one more input is also there C in right, and outputs are carry. And sum. Sum size is 3 down to 0, right? 3 down to 0. Sum. Now, what we have to do is our top module we have to instantiate it over here. So, I'm copying my top module design and I'm pasting it over here and I'm giving the name as F1. Okay. Now, I am instantiating non B equals to B. Sorry, C in right. C in goes to C in. And sum goes to sum. And carry goes to carry. Okay. Our instantiation is completed. Now we have to pass the input type. So initial begin. Uh, let's transfer. So what is the SI is here for this right? For this B zero zero one. Okay. And B equals to for this B zero zero one zero. Let's transfer. And C equals to one. Tick B one. Okay. After some ten seconds of delay, I think we have to change the input. For this B zero zero one zero and B equals to Four three three zero zero one one and C equals to one three B zero okay and and module. Now our coding part is completed. Now I'm just saying my full error test events. 
Kunada TV. Not you. So I saved it. Now I need to compile my uh, testaments. So I am doing a relog. I see UNM underscore added dot pd dot p. If you see here, we have one error. Uh, somewhere we declared a C. Let's check for the 17th line. Okay, to be C in right. Our input pin name is C in right. Instead. So I change the point to E. Now it has zero errors. Now we have to uh, simplify. So we have to use VSIM and test event module name in the terminal. Okay. Here while simulating, we are facing some errors. Let's see what are the errors. On ninth line, showing some error. What are the names we are taking here? ABC, some and carry. Here also we declared ABC, and some carry. So that's what we are passing here. Let's clean up this and keep here white. Reason. First one. Control C. Control Now it's compiling. Okay. Now it's simulated, right? So we, you know, we have to go to this terminal, go click on it, add to here all items in region. Okay. Then all the inputs and outputs will be added in the waveform. Just press the run. Here, if you see here, uh, we are passing. In the first test case, if you see in this test bench module, what we passed in 0, uh, 0, 0, 001 and 0, 0, 001, so it is nothing but first one is 1, second one is 2. Uh, if we added these two, the value is 3, and seeing also we passed as a 1, which means uh, our expected sum is 4, right? So we will check whether it's coming or not. If you see here, for sum, it's coming at 4. When it comes to the second output, here we pass it two, here we pass it three, and here we are making a C in a zero. It's uh, nothing but we are not passing, uh, we are passing the C as zero. Now sum is, our expected is five, right? Two plus three is nothing but five. And if you see here, carry is zero. Okay. Uh, that's how we have to verify the, uh, form 